Welcome to Quick Bites. Sim the world here making five star dishes in Cooking Simulator. Today, we're taking a look at the Kung Pao Chicken. Boy, I love me some Chinese food. And, uh, well, simulating games is fun, but the weight that has accrued certainly isn't simulated. So, um, as I'm starting keto, this is definitely a sweet hell of an episode for me. Let's get started as hopefully you guys will enjoy it even though I won't be. So we're gonna start off with the Kung Pao sauce. We'll add to a pot 15 milliliters of balsamic, balsamic vinegar. Let's see, where is that? 15 milliliters. And one more dash, there we go. Then next we're gonna grab us the soy sauce, five milliliters of that. Oh, we're gonna be daring today. Let's let's see if we can do it. Oh, seven milliliters. Could not do it. So we'll uh we'll be a little more careful. Hosin sauce, we're gonna do five milliliters of that. And to this, we're just gonna put that in a bowl and drop that in. Oh, see, I can pour it that time when it's into a bowl, but when it's in a pot. That's a no-go. That is unfortunate. Let's see if we can dump this in. And there is our five milliliters. Finally, we are going to add five milliliters of sesame oil. Let's try freehanding this one too. Might as well. Four, five. I find if you make that jerking motion there, it seems to just do one milliliter at a time. Don't quote me on that, but that's how I do it. To this, we're going to add 10 grams of sugar. Make sure you grab the sugar for this one. Always watch the left bottom side. You can, if you're keeping track of what's pouring, that may or may not be what's going into the pot. It's just what's going out. We're also adding five grams of starch. Perfect. And finally, we need how many grams? Three grams of the Sichuan pepper. It's it's not Sichuan. That's what I want to say, but no clue on how the real pronunciation of that goes. This then will fry in the pot for 40 seconds. However, since we got to get the chicken ready, we're going to do that all together. The chicken cooks for 90 seconds. So, and then we're going to garnish with the scallions. So, in fact. Let me jump over to the scallions and take care of this real quick. So for this, we need 240 grams. We separate the scallions and cut them into quarters. I've got a little trick for you guys. I'm only, we've already got our bowl of the 60 grams already cut. So you don't need the bottom piece. You drop the good part on here onto the floor. And what you can do is you can feed this through the process, food processor Again, drop the good part throughout the bot, and we can add this to the food processor. You do one more for this, but then if you use the processor, that cuts it into five and six gram pieces. Quick and easy. Of course, we already have our bowl. It says 74, but it's really 60 because there's a couple pieces floating around. Don't need those. So that's your scallions. That's the easiest way to do it. Very quick. Very nice. As for the chicken, so we're gonna take one chicken breast, season it with 20 grams of chili flakes and cut it into 30 gram pieces. So this is actually pretty straightforward. I like this. This again is where the pouring makes sense. You can see now those are out of order. We have 20 grams on the chicken and 21 being poured. Gotta keep an eye on that, that gets tricky. Since this is 240 grams, it's actually pretty easy to cut. I find cut it down the middle, that makes 220 gram pieces, and then you can quarter that. And there we go. You might need to do this a few times to get pieces that are consistent. You can see I have some, I have a 29 gram piece. I don't have any 30s, so maybe this was a poor cut. But of course, I've already got my bowl pre-prepared. That's what you guys, if you're in the career mode, I'd suggest making some, you know, bowls, stacking them around under the counters of different amounts and things that you need. But for this, make sure you do put the chili flakes on first and not after. 
Otherwise, it's not going to spread the season evenly amongst the pieces. So then we're going to add to a pan 30 milliliters of peanut oil and then the chicken breasts. So this is pretty easy going. We need, I think, 30 milliliters? Is that what they said? I already forgot. Yep. So we'll give this a little taste. Let's double check. Yep. Tastes like peanuts to me. We'll then load up our chicken that we have. 240 grams. Give this a little shake. Get those all spread out. Everything's touching the oil. Everything's touching the pan. Now, here is a big tip that I'm a huge proponent of. They do give you the little timers that you can purchase. Uh, I've never really cared for those. Those make it a, kind of a pain. So I just use the one on my phone. We're gonna start with the chicken first, frying that for 90 seconds in the peanut oil, and then about halfway through, we'll turn on the sauce as well. So I'll meet you guys back when we're ready to serve. All right, we're coming up on a minute and a half. The chicken is just about done. We'll cut the heat to both. So chicken breast is completely cooked. The mixture actually is not fully cooked. That's interesting. We did 40 seconds. It doesn't say to do anything. Yeah, just 40 seconds in the pot. So that's kind of, that's pretty interesting. We're, we're going to give this a shot. So into a deep bowl, we're going to first put the sauce. And I might not have the skills to dump the pot into the deep bowl, but we'll use the ladle. Makes it super simple. Next, we're going to transfer the, it doesn't say specifically the chicken breast, but reading it, it says take the chicken breast, season it, cut it, fry it. I'm assuming we don't transfer the peanut oil. So let's again go ahead, grab the chicken breast that's fully cooked, ready to go. And finally, we finish with 60 grams of scallions as garnish. So that actually looks really, really good. This is one of the few dishes. Oh, well, that's a little, makes it look like a lot of scallions in there. That doesn't look as pretty as I was thinking. <laughs> Let's see what the customer thinks about it. Will we get our five stars? We absolutely nailed it. This is a simpler dish. I don't think there's too, too much to it, but it's a good basis because there is a more advanced version. So if we can nail this, then we can tackle the advanced version. And I think it's cool to try to go ahead and try to figure out the simplest way to multitask this. Of course, cooking these together makes the biggest difference. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you guys are playing the, through the career mode, if you're on a diet like me, I, I truly apologize, but just realize that I'm suffering more so than you. I have to do this a couple times for recording purposes. So with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates of future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch, as I'll occasionally stream live. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.